In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Tiramisu Wii U to use Aroma. The Wii U scene continues to expand and as such, different things come out to supersede the old ones. And that is the case with Aroma and Tiramisu. Aroma has superseded Tiramisu as the default custom firmware for Wii U systems, and as such, it is worth upgrading to to take advantage of new plugins and different features that it has to offer. Now that being said, Tiramisu still has its uses with Legacy Homebrew, so it's actually pretty great that you can have both side by side and choose between them when needed. But let's go ahead and dive in. To begin the upgrade process from Tiramisu to Aroma, we're going to need a couple things, the first of which being our Tiramisu modded Wii U, so you're going to need the SD card out of that and away to transfer files onto that SD card. So go ahead and get that SD card hooked up to a computing device of your choice. Shouldn't really matter for this tutorial if you're using Mac, Windows, Linux, or a phone or other such device, but go ahead and get it pulled up, just set it aside for later. So the first thing we're gonna do is download the latest version of Aroma. So link to this will be in the description below, but on this page, go ahead and check mark all the boxes right here and click on download payloads. Then click on download base aroma. And if you'd like to download any additional plugins like Blue Pair to give your Wii U native Bluetooth controller support, just go ahead and check mark all the ones you wanna do. So such as FTPU, SD Caffeine, if you wanna do any game modding, screenshot plugin, and then just download additional plugins and modules when you have all that set. Once you have everything downloaded, go ahead and get it all extracted. Open up each of the folders and you should see a nice Wii U folder in each of them. So from here, open up the SD card for your Wii U and copy all of the Wii U folders into the root of your Wii U's SD card. For the environmental loader one, I replaced the files in the destination just to make sure they are the most up to date. Everything else should go in without any need of overwriting. And there we go. With our payload in place, we're gonna grab the latest version of the Homebrew App Store. So link to this will be in the description below, but just scroll down and download the Wii U-extract-to-sd.zip file. So now just go ahead and get this one extracted as well. And inside the folder, you should see yet another Wii U folder. So just drag that into the root of your SD card and overwrite anything that might be the same to just make sure you're on the most up-to-date version of the Homebrew App Store. And with that, we are done on our computing device, so go ahead and get the SD card inserted back into your Wii U. With the SD card back in your Wii U, hold down the X button and hold down the power and press the power button to turn the Wii U on and just keep holding down X to bring you into the environment loader. And once the environment loader has loaded up, Navigate up to Aroma and press Y to set it to your new auto boot. And now press A. And on the boot selector, go ahead and press Y on the Wii U menu or VUE system menu, depending on your preference here. And then just press A to load up into the Wii U menu. And with that, your new Aroma payload install is living alongside your old Tiramisu one, giving you the best of what each are capable of. But now you're easily able to pair up a number of Bluetooth controllers just by pressing the sync button on your Wii U and syncing up a controller. So for example, here's my 8-bit Do Ultimate controller in Bluetooth mode. And now I can navigate the Wii U system menu with it. But anyway, so you'll notice a few new icons, so if you have any RPX Homebrew inside your apps folder, that should now show up on the Wii U system menu. You'll also find the Homebrew App Store. We have the Payload Loader Installer. We don't need to worry about that because we already had the Payload Loader installed. But then there is also a DualShock 3 pairing menu for Blue Pair. So if you want to use DualShock 3s, you load this app, connect them with a the wire, and you're good to go. And then an Aroma Updater, so you can always keep Aroma up to date. But let's do a quick overview of the Homebrew App Store real quick here. So inside, you will see just a number of different apps available to you. And so there is an Aroma Ready section here that is nice because it just has Aroma optimized stuff that'll show up on the home menu with nice apps and all that. But for example, I'm going to update my WUD installation 
from my old tiramisu one. So just gonna remove that real quick. And then we're gonna just re-download it. And then we're gonna get WAP GX2 installer for Aroma. But you could just go through this, grab anything that catches your eye. So I grabbed the Wii U time sync, cause why not? But one that I would definitely recommend is going down here and grabbing the Save Me Mod What port. So if you wanna be able to manage your saves on the Wii side of things and the Wii U side of things, this is a great one to have. But once you're done inside the Homebrew App Store, there's two ways of getting out. You can press the minus button, or you could just press the home button and close the software. But after visiting the Homebrew App Store here, we can see that my WUP Installer GX2 and WUD are now nicer to look at on the Wii U home screen. And that Save Me WUP port is listed right here. So just an easy way to get Homebrew to show up on your Wii U home menu. Now, one more thing to make note of, by holding down L, down, and minus, it will bring you into your Wii U plugin system for Aroma. So this is where you can check all the various plugins that you have installed, and you can go in and look at them and see different things that you can do with them. So, very cool stuff. So, FTP, uh, screenshot plugin, region free plugins, different things like that. So it's very cool stuff. But at any point you want to return to Tiramisu to use unsupported homebrew within Aroma, make sure your Wii U system's powered down, and then just hold down that X button like we did at the beginning of the video. Press the power button. And once inside the environment loader, you can just scroll down to Tiramisu and press A. And if you already had it all configured to auto boot, it will return you to that same configuration you already had set up. And then simply by launching the Mii Maker. You'll be brought back into your homebrew launcher where you can use all of your unsupported homebrew. So for example, RetroArch. So again, having an Aroma and Tiramisu install really gives you the best of both worlds. You get access to all the latest stuff that's going on, and legacy homebrew support is still working for everything and not just a select few things. So as time goes on, this might not be necessary, but for now, it's a great way to just really get the most out of your Wii U experience. But with that, you now have access to everything Aroma has to offer and where we're gonna call it for this video. Thank you so much as always for watching. I hope this helps you get your Wii U one step closer to being the ultimate experience that you desire with it. But here at the end, just the usual favors to ask. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's video, as well as that sub button notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, please be sure to check out that Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen or that join button here on YouTube as every little bit helps keeps this place running. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you again for being just amazing. Couldn't do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.